In the early years of the 20th century, a young blacksmith from a poor Irish Catholic family would rise to heights as a sportsman few could hope to emulate. His skill, courage and sense of fair play would make him a legend in a sport not always looked on with admiration. His dynamic and controversial life is as extraordinary in reflection as it was when he lived it. Yes, from when I was a kid and before I went to school, we heard Les Darcy for breakfast, dinner and tea. As a matter of fact, when I first started going to school, I was seven year old, I was a late starter, I was seven year old, do you know that I could spell Les Darcy and write Les Darcy before I could spell Ambrose Murray or write Ambrose Murray, and that's my name. I could stand up and recite a poem about Les Darcy before I could stand up and recite the Lord's Prayer, and I'm a tyke. Darcy was in training for his most important fight yet, against the dynamic puncher Eddie McGorty. McGorty, born in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, was known as the Oshkosh Terror. Six years older than Darcy, he was rightly regarded as one of the world's great middleweights. Many fight men believed that Darcy may be overmatched. He was still only 19. It was billed as a world title fight. Interest in the bout was extraordinary. The old barn, as the stadium was known, was packed to capacity. At 5 foot 10, 160 pounds, a veteran of 500 rounds, the Oshkosh Terror came to town to try to gun Les Darcy down. With bulging biceps, granite jaw, not once had he been on the floor. McGorty with the wicked left, who left opponents broke bereft. Full 16,000s came to cheer, with apprehension, even fear. The youngster and the knockout king now stood alone in centre ring. The blacksmith boy of 19 years, with thrill to never ending cheers, as round by round the crowd arose to lord the smithy's mighty blows. The youngster fought at fearsome pace, the blood was on McGordy's face. The terror threw his famed left hook, the old barn's rafters fairly shook. And round by round they cheered them on, McGordy's legs and breath were gone. And just before the 15th bell, the Oshkosh terror dipped and fell. Three times he crashed upon the floor, before his seconds cried no more. Young Les had lain the great man out to win this famous boxing bout. After the bout, McGordy said of Darcy, he's a wonder. He'll beat any middleweight in the world and a majority of the heavyweights. He'll prove to the world that he's the greatest man of his inches of all time.